Alright there, have a, hello everyone and welcome to 101 Studios. Today I'm going to be showing the remodeled ISP at Clara. I thought it was time to update the ship since it's there's been so many updates to the game and the entry of planets and everything that and some new mods. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll add some, do, change up the ship a little bit, change it up and did I at all. Alright, so if we come up to the ship, you might notice Actually, if you remember the ISPA Clara before, she had the ship had doors over here, uh, and you can see that those no longer exist. They're gone. Poof. Not here. But there are these doors on the side. There's two. There's two doors on each side, and they have these like little nice landing spot and you can come in and you enter and you come into the hangar so you can see these are now opened up very much more and the hangar door is now over here and it is on the bottom of the ship so ships come in they fly they drop down they go into combat or whatever needs to happen um, there's also a in-between door there's the last door kind of here to kind of seal it off if, um, say, preserve oxygen, so, preserve this hangar from over there, and if you notice, if you look up, you can see the jump drives, hmm, jump drives, yes, this is, um, if you remember, I'm just gonna refer back to the old ISK car a lot, this is where the cruise launch, cruise maker thing was, where it make cruise missiles so they could be launched. Cruise missile idea has since been discontinued with the for a while now that uh, fighters are more of the way to go. We'll have to see with the new jump drive. There's some pretty good weapon systems. Oh. Pretty good weapon systems you can make with that. We come into here and we have the cryopod room. Before this was just a normal storage room, but I decided to add some cryopods to it add a little more yay to it and if we come over here open this door open this door and it's a bedroom six beds six cryopods and you can actually turn off oh you can turn off the lights oh yeah so you can do that uh, back. come up here to the right. so the stairs the stairs are still the same nothing changes there but we now have this elevator. I'll show that at, at the end. But uh, if over here we have the program block for anything that, or in the med base here, program block for a program that I'm running. It um, it's a LCD display thing. I'll actually, come over here and show you it. I don't actually know the edit. It's this one, the configure automatic L LCDs. So that's the program that I'm running right now on it, and it just shows inventory right now. Um, if you want, this catwalk is still the same. Nice class catwalk. Oh, why does that always happen? I don't know. Come here. We have two gravity generators and four jump drives. Ooh, ooh, jump drives. Ooh, that's so good. And as you remember the the previous video, the, um, the jump drives were were a very big part of the ending of that video. So if we come through, the rest of the ship is basically still the same. That's why it's faster. Nothing's really changed up here. Still the weapons and ammunition for ground crews. So that's still the same. This to the right is still the oxygen room. I think there's like 18 auction tanks. Quite a lot. We got two auction refineries. So this ship is still still self-efficient, which goes with all the other ISP ships that I made. And go back over to the bridge now. And if you remember from before the remodel ISP Clara, you would have to fly with your jetpack. But now, there's an elevator. And if you look down here, this grate is used for like oxygen, so an oxygen thing there. 
What is going on? Um. So, okay, that's broken. That's a really weird bug. Uh. Okay, I guess I'm not showing you that. For this, this button here, basically, I can press this button still. Yeah, see. Drop down. No, it's not working. I don't know what's going on. I should be broken now. But I'll try to fix that before I put it on the workshop. See what's wrong with it. Go to. But if we come to the top, we have the command room. We got these sage desks here. Work benches. And not, we still got the glass, nice glass overview of the front of the ship. And there she is. Turn on my head, you can see the ship is still in the last position from where it was. That's two jumps away. That, that GPS corner over there. That's from two jumps. That's impressive right there. Two jumps, one million meters. Uh, that's pretty that's pretty good I, I feel. And the ship had a little bit of a more better turning. Four is really sluggish. Um, there's a couple more um, side thrusters, not too many more, maybe five or six more. It's not, it's not too many. I'll go for six more because it's an even number. Actually, why am I turning the ship? Because jump drives. One. Select. Get ready for launch. Yahoo! On the HUD, where am I? And I'm one jump away from it. So that's distance of one jump. And if you're asking how I got the ship to come out of jump and how it looks so good, because you don't get the nice lighting effect when you jump the way I did the way I did on the, the, in the beginning part of this video is I took the ship drove I flew it backwards and when I flew it backwards then I jumped so I basically just jumped but going backwards so when I re made the video go backwards the ship was going forwards well like the light effect happened ship comes out of well ship technically goes in the jump and then it starts going coming towards the camera so that that's really nice and that's basically it that's the new ISPA Clara updated version and I hope to see you guys soon have a great day